The day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, September 11, 2022. And giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Cleveland Browns vs Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers come into the 2022 season with a new quarterback at the helm who will look to make his mark in game one. Baker Mayfield will play his first game in Carolina against his old team and will be out for revenge. Cleveland will be using a backup quarterback, and Carolina will have plenty of weapons around Mayfield as they coast to an opening week win and cover at home. Our team pick is. Carolina Panthers minus 2 points. The Carolina offense moved well, totaling 238 yards, including 188 through the air. New quarterback Baker Mayfield led the show for Carolina, completing 9 to 15 passes for 89 yards and 2 touchdowns, while the other two quarterbacks in the game completed 13 of 21 passes for 99 yards as well. Shai Smith led the way for Carolina with 32 yards and one score on three catches. Our total pick is. Under 41.5 points. Cincinnati Bengals vs Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh's 3-4 defense will be led up front by ends Cameron Hayward and Larry Ogunjobi, while the nose tackle is Tyson L. U. Allen. The strength of the defense is the linebacker core with T.J. Watt, Devin Bush, Miles Jack and Alex Highsmith. Pittsburgh also has a strong secondary with safeties Terrell Edmonds and Minka Fitzpatrick, while the top two quarterbacks are Cameron Sutton and Levi Wallace. Cincinnati opens its defense of the AFC title when hosting Pittsburgh on Sunday. Quarterback Joe Burrow is listed as questionable as his wide receiver T. Higgins, but expect both to be starting on Sunday. Joe Mixon is the leading rusher for the Bengals, with the leading receiver being second-year star Jammer Chase. Although Cincinnati won the AFC North and the AFC Championship last season, the Steelers have dominated this matchup covering the number in 21 of the last 32 meetings as well as in 16 of the last 23 played in Cincinnati. Pittsburgh's defense will contain the Cincinnati offense enough for the Steelers' offense to score enough points to cover the nut on Sunday. Our team pick is. Pittsburgh Steelers plus 6.5 points. The Pittsburgh Steelers finished the year having a 9-7-1 record. In their last game of last season, the Steelers took on the Chiefs and walked away from this one with a loss by a score of 42-21. Najee Harris led the offense in rushing for the Steelers with 12 carries for 29 yards, 2.4 yards per carry. Deontay Johnson had an average of 6.8 yards per catch by earning 34 yards on five receptions. Ben Roethlisberger connected on 29 44 with 215 yards passing and two touchdowns. He had a QB rate of 92.5 and walked away from the game without throwing an interception. In the running game, the Steelers gave up 106 yards on 22 attempts, which averages out to 4.8 yards per run allowed. Pittsburgh surrendered 31 pass completions on 40 tries for 372 yards and a completion percentage of 77.5%. In all, they tallied 66 plays for 257 yards. The Pittsburgh Steelers ended up rushing 20 times and amassed 56 yards, which is an average of 2.8 yards per carry. Our total pick is under 44.5 points. Philadelphia Eagles vs Detroit Lions. Philadelphia's defense, which is the strength of the Eagles, is led on the front line by ends Brandon Graham and Josh Sweat, while veterans Fletcher Cox and Javen Hargrove will be the two starting tackles. Philadelphia's linebacker unit is led by TJ Edwards in the middle, flanked on either side by Hassan Reddick and Kizer White. The offseason acquisition of Reddick will improve an already strong defense for Philadelphia. The Eagles have one of the NFL's best cornerbacks in Darius Lay. The Detroit Lions will have Jared Goff under center. Last season in 14 games Goff passed for 3,245 yards with 19 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Dander Swift will be the lead running back and last season rushed for 452 yards with 2 touchdowns but played only 13 games due to injuries. Josh Reynolds will be one of the feature wide receivers for Detroit and last season caught 19 passes for 306 yards and 2 touchdowns. Detroit's 4-3 defense is led up front by ends Aiden Hutchinson, a rookie taken as the number two overall pick in the NFL draft, and Charles Harris. 
the two starting tackles are Michael Brockers and Alin McNeil. Detroit's linebackers will have Alex Anzalone in the middle, flanked on either side by Derek Barnes and Chris Board. Jeff Okuda earned a starting job at one quarterback during the preseason and will play opposite Amani Oruwariya. Philadelphia is favored by just over a field goal on the road, but Detroit behind the play of Jared Goff under center and running back Dander Swift will cover the number at home on Sunday. Detroit has covered the number in each of his last four played at home, while Philadelphia has struggled, failing to cover the nut in 11 of the last 16 played away from home. Detroit has covered the nut in five of the last seven overall versus Philadelphia. Our team pick is. Detroit Lions plus 3.5 points. The Philadelphia Eagles finished the season holding a 9-8 record. In their last contest of last season, the Eagles took on the Buccaneers and took a loss by a final of 31-15. Jalen Hurts went 23-43 with 258 yards through the air and one TD. He had a quarterback rating of 60 and ended the game with two interceptions. Dallas Goddard held an average of 15.3 yards per reception by accumulating 92 yards on six receptions. Miles Sanders led the offense in rushing for the Eagles with seven totes for 16 yards, 2.3 yards per attempt. Once the final whistle blew, they ran 62 plays which converted into 339 yards. The Philadelphia Eagles ended up rushing 17 different times and recorded 95 yards, which had them averaging 5.6 yards per attempt. When it came to stopping the run, the Eagles gave up 106 yards on 31 tries, which is an average of 3.4 yards per rush allowed. Philadelphia gave up 29 pass completions on 37 attempts for a total of 243 yards and a completion rate of 78.4%. In terms of passing yards, the Eagles allowed 3,756 yards, which had them ranked 11th in the NFL. In their 17 games played, they relinquished 220.9 yards per contest through the air, in addition to surrendering a completion percentage of 69.4%. They relinquished 328.8 yards game which put them 10th in the National Football League. They allowed 28 touchdowns through the air and 18 touchdowns via the ground game. They gave up 4.0 yards per rushing attempt and 107.9 yards on the ground per game last year. During the season, they allowed 1,834 rushing yards through 17 games. The Eagles ranked 18th in the National Football League when it comes to the opposition scoring, giving up 22.6 ppg. The Lions ended the season with a 3-13-1 mark. For their last game of last season, the Lions got the victory with a final of 37-30 against the Packers. Jamal Williams carried the rock 13 times for 43 yards, ending the contest with 3.3 yards per carry for Detroit. Amon Ross St. Brown was featured in the passing game for the Lions, hauling in eight footballs for 109 yards, 13.6 yards per reception. Jared Goff, two touchdowns, walked away from the contest with 238 yards on 21 30th passing, while his QB rating was 115.7. He didn't throw any interceptions, and his average yards per attempt was 7.93 yards. Detroit conceded 27 rushing attempts for 122 yards, 4.5 yards per rush. Our total pick is over 48.5 points.